Here we are at the start of our two-day hike, the Walton Glen Gorge, going to the Eye of the Needle. Just pulling our gear out of the car, getting suited up. Oh, the sun's starting to come out. Looks like it might be a, a nice hike. We have to add maybe another three kilometers to our hike due to the road closure here. So we will start there are three kilometers extra here and we'll check in a little later. Very good. Hello. <laughs> I have no idea if we're in green or not, but yeah, see you soon. All right, we're a kilometer into our big hike on our nature trail here. This is actually the Fundy Trail Fundy Park Trail system that's going to be a road. We'll have this paid by 2018, I guess I read. And uh, as you can see from behind us, we've come a long way. We've got a long way to go. Talk to you later. So, I believe this is the big circle I saw on the map. And the people ahead of us, who uh, seem to know to turn left at the back at the last intersection, turned left here, so I guess we'll follow. We believe we see some cars or ATVs up there too. And that should be the start of the trail. We'll talk to you then. Alright, I believe this is it. Hard to tell. We'll give it a try. Watch your ankles. If it was all like this would be pretty awesome. It smells nice. Yeah, it does get out like a cotton candy smell. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I think that's what bear urine smells like. <laughs> this is the ATV bridge that's washed out. We're turning right here. Let's see where that takes us. Go ahead. Yep. Alright, so we crossed the bridge, now we come to this intersection, where it says Walton. So we're not really sure yet, somebody placed that very precisely, but that seems to be going backwards if we go left to where we kind of headed from. And turning right, there's another fork in the road. So we got two decisions here. All right, I want to think about this one. We were just talking to another hiker, and he had another map that uh, tells him to go east. So that would mean we turned right at the intersection with the Walton sign to that other fork in the road, and we're taking the left side of the fork. I'll let you know if that turned out bad. So that didn't look like it worked out just turned into a big clearing with a bunch of equipment that are making the roads here. So we're gonna go back to this intersection where we come up and we're all confused. We're gonna turn left at the Walton sign, following the pink ribbons on the trees. And we'll see if that is the right trail marker. So we've gone a little ways on this trail. Now we got yet another fork, a left and a right. We're thinking right because it heads east that makes sense, but I don't understand it honestly. We'll go down this way a little further, it's easy walking. Okay, so we just talked to some folks in an ATV and they say we took a wrong turn, so we're heading back up a hill and uh, gonna turn right down to definitely a non-graveled trail that they say takes us to the gorge and then we'll figure out the eye the needle portion after that. So now we're back on the trail that we were told by the ATVers that would take us to the gorge. There they are there. We'll let them go by. Now I'm a 
little tired, a little hot, and a lot jealous. <laughs> it looks so much easier than what we're doing. We just came out of the woods. We got another fork. It apparently is a new trail. And we, while we were in the woods, we had to keep right, according to some locals. So we'll see if this works out. We think we're here at the gorge. Walking carefully, but something looks like it's about to open up. I hope. There had to be, I don't know, eight to ten forks in the road in order to get here. But if this is it, the weather's perfect. Very tight trail, that's for sure. Yeah, this is definitely it. <laughs> Holy We made it. Well wow. Just looks like on pictures I've seen on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> wow. Seems we're not the only people today who uh, decided to do this beautiful hike. We have a mixture of ATVers and hikers. We're going to do some exploring now and see what else we can find. So here I am at the edge of the gorge. Ooh, I'll just take a little lean over and see what it looks like down there. I think I would prefer not to go down there. Got a little stream down there. Here I am on top of the world. I don't know if you can see it, but way down by the waterfall, there's green and red, blue, those are people, and that's where we gotta hike to, get down into the gorge, and then come out to the other end. It was three and a half kilometers from where we parked to get to the cliff of Walton Glen, and uh, we're gonna be heading back in the woods right there to head towards the trail steep trail down that will take us to the eye, eye the needle uh, eventually but we got to get to the bottom of the gorge first first well, this is the first fork after coming back from the gorge you want to bear left up the hill there's orange markers on the right but I'm not sure where they go but this is the way we came down we have to go up here a ways and then we're gonna bear another right to go down into the gorge so on the way down to the gorge, there is a tree that has this sign on it. If you happen to be lucky enough to see it, because it's tiny, 
it will give you the right directions to turn right here and at the bottom of the hill down there you'll turn right again. Hey, guess what? We're turning around again after talking to some guy that has done this a few times. He says go back the way we came towards the gorge and instead of turning right we just keep following the trail down. It should save about 15 minutes off our total descent into the gorge. So we're gonna try that. I'll talk to you the next time we turn around. It's uh, pretty straight up and down, but we can, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but we can hear water down there, so that's a positive sign. We're getting close to the bottom of the gorge. Again, thanks to some fellow hikers that knew the area, they gave us better instructions on how to do this. So we got here a little quicker than maybe we would have otherwise. Let's see if I can catch me falling on video here. That is steep. Oh yeah. This is a get down on your bum moment. Good if your mother was in front of you. Did you fall? You all right? Grab the trees and hold on to them. <laughs> oh. As you can see, there's a campsite here, right at the bottom of the gorge. We won't be staying here. We're going through the Eye of the Needle and then heading to Little Salmon River campsites. In order to get to Eye of the Needle. You have a choice of going just straight down the river or up this. We're choosing the up part. So this trail will take you along the river instead of in the river. This is gnarly stuff. We just finished that big uphill. Now we're going down this very steep downhill. Holy moly. Just taking a break. Get a little nourishment here. And uh, pretty rugged terrain. The uh, trail's busy. It's like we just stopped for a second. There's been at least 15 hikers just go by. But a nice place to stop. They say it's about a half an hour to the eye of the needle. Uh, roughly four to five feet of water to go through. Four or five feet deep. And then. Uh, will be an hour from the campsite at that point. We just had our break. <laughs> Shell just got stuck under a log. It's kind of a mixture of land and water now. Just trying to maneuver without falling this is the tr tricky part. Shell's got the grace of a gazelle with three legs. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's rugged. But look at that. Well, hopefully that captures that. That is something else. Now I'll keep it on for a little bit here. You can kind of see it unfold as we do. But uh, it is tricky footing.
That is slippery. Just holding on to trees. Trying to keep your balance. Holy. That is incredible. That is tall. I wouldn't want to guess how tall. Okay, apparently we're at the top of the waterfall now. And uh, we'll get to the part where we have to use ropes to climb down. You just start to see the falls there. We're at the top of the waterfall now, as you can see. Apparently there's a system of ropes that you have to use to go down. But we just met a lady who fell down. She's okay, but stress the point that you're not using a hiking poles here anymore. And uh, you're just grabbing onto trees and roots or whatever you can. That tree is not stable. That one is, there's a first rope. Oh wow. This is spectacular. You can catch that, I don't know, but. It's slippery where you're standing, Pauline. That's right, both hands on the rope. Yeah, one, one, make your other hand down to your neck for not. So nope, not touch over there. Okay, let your other. Okay, I'm going to slip off. Okay. Just go ahead and do what you want to do. Okay. All right. Always hold on to something. Yeah. On the road, we were doing five kilometers an hour. Uh, this might be five hours to do a kilometer. Sorry that there's crap video right now, but that's all I got. I'll try down here, Michelle. I picked the wrong trail. She was right about not being able to use trekking poles. We got another rope coming up. This will be their second one. Michelle's maneuvering that one now.
Let's get down. We're at another so steep we need a rope hill. I'll turn around here and hold on to trees until I can get to the rope. There's no knots in this one. <laughs> a little bit of a rope burn situation. under this tree I caught on um, multiple trees. Oh, whoa, 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 that was close. Okay. All right. Don't look forward to going up this tomorrow morning. You have to go under this tree. Fun? Uh-huh. all the Want me to take your poles now? No, they're, they're actually helping me. Okay. There we go. That's one I almost went down on. That root? Yeah. Slippery. It is four o'clock. And I don't know, half hour ago we met somebody who said the eye of the needle was about a half hour away. And we just met a couple other hikers coming towards us. And they said the eye of the needle is about a half hour away. Maybe 20 minutes if we're lucky. So this is uh Intense hiking. Hiking at its up and downest. Alright, what do we got here? 412. Apparently we should be 10 minutes away from the eye of the needle. God, I hope so. This has been a challenge. It continues to be a challenge. We're gonna pitch up our tent here and camp here for the night. We're about 10 minutes away from the eye of the needle, but we thought this would be a good spot to stop and uh, set up tent, set up camp, and go to the eye of the needle from here. And then tomorrow morning, because it's calling for rain overnight, be some slippery conditions. And this will just give us something a little bit uh, easier to manage tomorrow. So a nice little campsite, we've got a fire pit here. Not very level, but uh, 
We've got the tent there. It's our backdrop. And then we got the river all running along there. So, it'll be good. Sit your butt down. <laughs> it's recording. Imagine this in the spring. Things are starting to get a little narrow now. Really don't think this will do it any justice, but it's just an absolute sheer straight up cliff there. Followed by another one over there. Remarkable. Wow. Yeah, the story goes that these glacier, the glacier split these rocks apart and apparently you can still see how they were shaped to fit together. That's where we just came from. And that's where we're trying to get down further to get to the really deep spot. Apparently these fools want to go swimming. We've uh, reached the pool, or I'm not sure what they really call it, but it's the place you see in all the fundy footpath Isle of Needle videos where you can uh, go across.
It's like ever. Nice and warm, eh? What? A what? <laughs> there are some big rocks to stand on, but should throw a few more in. Oh my god. There's a rock right in front of you, Michelle. Yeah, there. See the cave to your right? What? See the cave up there to your right? You're almost through. Yeah, I didn't know it was either. Look at this! So, to get to your bellies? Oh, no. no this is my belly. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Got to your belly now, didn't it? You did it. All right, we're heading back to camp now. One more time through the uh, eye of the needle water section. <laughs> what? It's way deeper. What? Really? I missed the rock. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not good. No, it totally is deeper. I guess maybe that's what I was talking about. What's more? <laughs> oh, that would have been good for Dad. I agree, it's harder to see this way or something. Oh, that's a good rock there. It's totally a really deeper. cool cave. I don't know if that will come through or not. It's totally deeper. Whoa. Whoa. 